What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome to another Resplendent review. Today I'll be taking a look at Black Knight and I'm going to be going over the builds that you can run on him in the modern times and at the end I'll have a special bonus segment. So Black Knight is actually the first Tempest Trial reward unit to get a Resplendent version and he's a pretty old Gen 1 sword armor and he does have a Londite as his preferred weapon. This initially didn't really get the earliest of the refines but it did get it after a while but still didn't really have the greatest effect. It does give him minus and special cooldown which is really helpful with Black Luna and it's definitely the best part of the weapon. It's a distant counter weapon but unfortunately Black Knight doesn't really have the bulk or the resistance to tank a lot of the range threats nowadays and it just gives you plus 4 to all of your stats. Getting the minus and special cooldown is going to be helping you trigger Black Luna and retaliate back with it and this is going to be treating foe's defense and resistance as if it's reduced by 80%. Black Knight was easily one of the best free double units that we had back then but his problems started to increase as we got more damage reduction and even Ninja Zelgius does have problem with all of the damage reduction and needs to run special spiral 4 but it's going to be a lot harder for the original Black Knight because he doesn't really have the luxury of having a modern weapon and if you're going to be building him up then a lot of the times he's just going to be functioning as a near save unit and even though he does have a distant counter weapon Taking on range threats is going to be a tall order. With the resplendent stats, he's going to be able to eclipse Zelgius when it comes to the speed and overall stats. So that is helpful if you have built up Black Knight over Zelgius. And comparing him to the other fast sword armors, he's not going to be all that fast comparing him to Valentine Hanna. And then we also have Winter Manuela who came before her. And even she is faster than him. So you're going to be needing all of the dragon flowers and all of these stats if you're going to be speed stacking on him and even then he's going to be functioning as a near save unit. So if you're going to be building him up then you can give him tag defense near save and run special spiral 4 because Black Luna is going to be getting stopped by a lot of the damage reduction so having the damage reduction piercing is going to be good and he can definitely try and one shot a lot of the things with special spiral 4 and sturdy stance is going to be giving you that guard effect and can easily be obtained with near save so it's a decent skill that he can run. And there are not going to be a lot of budget ways of building him up. You'll have to commit with some expensive fodder. And if you want to run him with some of the new skills, then Weaving Fighter is definitely going to be one of the options. And Alondai doesn't really do too much when you can easily have Emblem Marth make Black Luna into a 2 cooldown special. So you can run Winter Rapier instead. And that is going to be giving you Attack Defense Unity, which does stack up pretty well with the Slotty skill. And Weaving Fighter is going to be giving you a lot of damage reduction, which is so, so important because... You're going to be having a hard time surviving things as a gen 1 armor and you can also get the healing out of it which is one of the things which black knight is going to be lacking with a lot of his builds the self-sustain is going to be helping you quite a lot and you can just focus on his attack and defense and that is certainly one of the ways of doing things with him because speed stacking is going to be getting worse as time goes on as we get even faster nukes so just investing in his defense is something you can do and special fighter is going to be giving you that guard effect and also these special charges so it's going to be retaliating back with black luna and with all of the debuffs going around the unity skill in winter rapier is definitely going to be a good option but if you want to speed stack then farmer's tool plus is going to be a pretty good option as it does have bonus doubler 4 built in and you can again use emblem marth to make black luna into a 2 cooldown special savvy fighter 4 is going to be giving you that damage reduction and also the full null follow-up effect so it does help with a speedy build and he can just try and stack up the speed and give him visible buffs so that he can make use of his weapon. He's going to be having pretty high HP all things considered. So summoner support is going to be going a long way for increasing his stats with a build like this. And you can also run him with arcane devourer. But that is going to be requiring you to ditch black luna for armored blaze. So with emblem marth you're going to be able to retaliate back with armored blaze even against guard enemies. And once your special spiral 4 is set up. You're going to be able to pierce through the damage reduction of the enemy and Arcane Devourer does give you that damage reduction and the full null follow-up effect so running Special Spiral 4 and a slot B becomes a lot easier and you can also run Guard Echo as the attune skill. We don't really have too many attune skills for armor units so Guard Echo is going to be the best option right now but whenever we get better attune skills with Arcane Devourer builds we're going to be able to run that. Unfortunately he does lose his identity by ditching Black Luna but that is unfortunately what you'll have to do if you want to optimize him. 
and you can also use them as a far safe even though it is going to be really troublesome. So Arcane Devourer is going to be needed and you can run Armored Beacon so that you can get that unpierceable damage reduction and Emblem Ike is also going to be helping you with stacking up the unpierceable damage reduction. Unfortunately, we don't really have any kind of Emblem Hero who gives you unpierceable damage reduction for the melee hits. So Emblem Ike is going to be certainly helping you with a far saver build. And Firestorm Boost 3 is going to be giving you extra bulk and also the guard effect. So in future, whenever we get better tune skills, those are going to be really good options on him. If you're going to be running an Arcane Devourer build and you can just run this encounter melee as the Sacred Seal. I really wish that many of the older Gen 1 units who had preferred skills like Arvis, Arden, and Black Knight would get some kind of remix. So I've tried to give him that and also give him a much better weapon refine. So if I had to improve his refine, I would definitely make the icon a lot better. So his Alon Diet is such a badass looking sword. Having that is going to be much better. And he's going to be having his usual distant counter and plus 4 to all of the stats. But I would try and make him a bit more supportive. So for the foes in 3 rows and 3 columns, he's going to be inflicting them with minus 6 attack and speed debuff and also the sabotage status. So this way he's going to be able to just get a lot better bulk because of the sabotage effect and the debuffs and it also helps him with a speedy build. And then with his weapon refine, I'm going to be keeping that minus on special cooldown because it's way too valuable. But I would definitely give him another round of plus 4 to all of these stats and give him flat damage reduction based on 20% of his defense. So having some kind of flat damage reduction is going to be helping a gen 1 unit like him. And Emblem Mike also has flat damage reduction so I think that Black Knight should also be getting that. And for the remix Black Luna Plus, all you need is the full damage reduction piercing and you're going to be having a pretty good time with Black Luna as a special. So these are the changes that I've done to him. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. I really had to restrain myself from giving him really busted stuff because he is a free to play real unit at the end of the day. And he's not going to be getting much even if hypothetically he's to get some kind of re-refine or remix. It's certainly no lightless Luna with having the unpierceable damage reduction against both melee and ranged foes but still getting the full damage reduction piercing is extremely helpful and with the damage reduction shredding that we have got nowadays having the flat damage reduction is easily going to be giving him 10 to 12 points of flat damage reduction which is really helpful for tanking and if you run something like Savage Fighter with this kind of remix then he's going to be able to be a lot more bulky. You can click the link on your screen right now to check out my breakdown of the refines of this month and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as Lloyd still waiting for his resplendent. So with that said I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.